The Bad Batch, Season 3, Episode 11, Thoughts. This episode's called Point of No Return. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything Star Wars leading up to and including this episode. The episode is rated TVPG, so will this video be. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, this was a super cool episode. And it's one of those things we've been waiting for since we saw that... It was a Clone X, I think he's referred to as, you know, the moment we saw that he actually survived, yeah, we knew he was going to come back. And, the yeah, the episode absolutely delivered. It's really devastating that the thing that, you know, Crosshair didn't even really want to go along with Omega's plan, not that they had many options, and then he, you know, misses the, the crucial shot. So there's no tracking device on the the vessel that's taking Omega back to the the facility. So yeah, really really hard. And let's see the yeah I appreciate this thing of you know gradually the the batch are dispatched. You know Wrecker is too close to the explosion, so it gets knocked out. And Hunter puts up quite a fight, but ultimately is, you know, and and Crosshair, yeah. Um, I like that, like, the moment that Wrecker specified two cones of ice. He didn't say ice cream. Yeah, I was thinking, so it's it's not quite ice cream. And, and yeah, apparently, like... It's, uh, what do y'all call that in English? It's, we, we'd call it something like soda ice cream here in Denmark. But yeah, you know, it's it's frozen and it's in the form of, of you know, yeah. But instead it is, yeah, it, it looks good. I, I want some. And let's see. Yeah, um, Fee is... Great as always, and I think that might be about. Let's see. Um. Yeah, that might be all that I had for this one. But yeah, really excited to see where they go. Um. This is episode 11 of a 15, se 15 episode season, so there are four episodes left, and this is supposed to be the final season. So this, this is doing really well at building towards a satisfying conclusion. Um, I feel like there was some other... Right, I appreciate that Clone X does have to get past several, you know, the there's an alarm function in Fee's ship, and then again there's, you know, there's an, and that, that he has to turn off, and then when the, the, you know, when he's on approach to the planet, which name I forget, but the, yeah, um, where the batch are, you know, there's another alarm he has to, to turn off. And... Yeah, I think that might be all that... Yeah, you know, I will say, you know, Omega always with the, you know, thinking outside the box. Yeah, how else are they going to get back? And she is still determined to save the other clones. You know, just yeah, really driven by her her heart in which which is great to see in a in a galaxy that can be quite cutthroat at times. Right now, I remember. Yes, the thing. The other thing I want to say. The the um, I really appreciate how accurate the depiction of the fascist empire is here. You know, they attack. This place, you know, just with without being careful not to hurt innocents, 
and when the the what is it mayor i think you know he's he's like you can't do this they're just like oh so you'd like us to do worse you know and this this shot of clone x walking as all the the people that he's terrifying are running in the other direction is really powerful you know i've i've said it before and i'll say it again fascism is one of the greatest threats today it's on the rise in, in several Western countries, and we have to fight it as hard as we possibly can. And I really appreciate what this episode does to, you know, still not saying, like, Disney are not angels. They've, they've definitely got their issues. And I wish they went further, but this is still much appreciated.